Hello YouTube, my name is James Sinclair and in this video, I'm gonna share with you the foundations of wealth that I believe entrepreneurs should be following. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell if you like this sort of stuff. I'm James Sinclair and I'm gonna walk you through now my fast pounds and slow pounds belief. It really is the foundation of my business thinking of how I've built up my business. And I wanna really share it with you. There is a difference between income cash flow and wealth creation. I think people are at odds with what they should be doing with their income to really build serious wealth. And there is some clear differences. And I use those clear differences by explaining these two little fellas up here, the fast pounds v the slow pounds. This gang is where wealth is created, is making sure you have enough slow pounds around you. This might all sound quite complicated if you're American, well, you could just change it to fast dollars and slow dollars. And if you're in India, fast rupees and slow rupees. Now look, there's four ways to wealth, gang. Number one is income, that be your cash flow, salary. Number two is assets. I'm just gonna write these up here for you. Number three is business. And this really is, after so much research that I've met other entrepreneurs, read loads of books, read the Financial Times, read the Sunday Times, Get Rich Quick, what's it called, the rich list that comes out every single year. And number four um, is marry, death and divorce. MDD, marry, death and divorce. These are four ways of how you can become wealthy, build something that you can leave to your kids, to your family, to make you financially secure, as they say. Number one is income, so this would be salary. Number two is assets. Number three is business. And number four is you can marry someone, someone that's dear to you, dies and leaves you millions and zillions of pounds. And number three is divorce. And I have really, found plenty of people that have become seriously wealthy from the MDDs. But because this is an entrepreneurial channel here on YouTube, this is a business growth channel, we're gonna get rid of number four because that's uh, by chance, if you like, or some people might say people marry by choice, but we're gonna leave number four off and we're gonna focus on the top three. Number one, income. The problem with income is what I call fast pounds. In most people's situation, income, a salary comes in one month and goes out the next month. They've got their rent, they've got their mortgage, they've got food bills, normal bills, pay for the car, something goes wrong. So what happens with this fast pound, although it's coming in fast, it usually leaves the bank account fast, very much like the cash flow in a business. You speak to most entrepreneurs, loads of cash flow comes in, plenty of cash flow comes out. One of my favorite phrases, one of my good business friends talks about running his business house. It has business going and he always says, I'm prof professionally moving money around. And that's what income can feel like to lots of people as they're collecting a salary. They're professionally moving money around, cash flow in a business, professionally moving money around. The next stage is assets. So this would be stocks and shares, property, real estate. Um, and this I call slow pounds. Now the difference is, to make money from assets, you need to hold on to it for quite a long time before it really starts generating cash. I always say property is 10 years before it really starts building you wealth. So that is quite a slow amount of time to income, which comes in, you, you get a job within the 30 days, you're paid, or you do a job for a business, you get paid, so it's coming in much faster. Assets, property, stocks and shares, they start building, the value of a business starts building over assets. So you need to own shares, property, uh, shares in your own business, that would be your assets. And number three is the big one, business. Business, you can really build fast income by the amount of effort that you put in. So this is what I really want people to understand. You wanna get into this 50-50 living. 50% 50 of your income gets invested into slow pound assets. Let's talk about that in real terms. So 50% of your fast pounds, your salary, the income, the profit that you have, you then invest into slow pounds. So that you have this scenario, your income, your fast pounds is invested into slow pounds. And then over a period of time, those slow pounds build assets and wealth, and they start sharing off dividends via increased rent, uh, via profits and dividends from the business, and then you live off the income here. Whereas most people live off the income up here from their fast pounds. 
So it's really important that then we start falling through. Well, how can we do this? I can't. You know, if you're earning £20,000 a year, £30,000 a year, £40,000 a year, you're thinking, well, I can't invest 50% into assets because I need all the money for my living. I've got three kids. You know, they expect a holiday. Oh, they expect to go to private school. I need to buy a car. I need to buy a house. My mortgage is stretching me to the nth degree. I can't do it. Well, that's why business is the secret to building fast wealth. Um, when I say fast, I'm talking 10 years. If you build a business, you can massively increase your income by your efforts. When you get a salary, it's very hard to grow that salary if that's the sort of person that you are. Or if you've got a small business, like a profitable job business, like being a one-man band, like a plumber or an electrician. So you either need to be the top of a company, like an MD to be able to invest, or you need to be you know, the marketing director or the CEO of a big company to be able to invest into assets. The game is gang. We have to invest into slow pounds. The business gives us a chance to put cash into assets so that the assets allow us to fund the fun and generate the things that we want to do in life. So you want to buy a holiday, you want to go on um, a nice holiday, or you want to buy a nice car, it needs to be bought out of here, not here. If you can do that, your life will change dramatically. Assets must fund your fun in life. You want to be, you know, giving as much of your income into assets so that you can do this process of income, fast pounds, being invested into slow pounds, 50% of your profits or your personal income, and then live off of the, 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 the cash that the slow pound assets generate. See, like when you buy a house, you know, you buy a house for, you know, year one, you buy it for a hundred thousand pounds. Now, roughly in the UK, property doubles in value every 10 years. So in 10 years' time, it's now now worth 200,000 uh, 200, pounds. The great news is that increase in value you don't pay tax on until you realize it, i.e. you sell it. But in that 10 years, you would have had rent increases fantastic. You would have paid down some of the property or you, if, you're, if you're paying down the property or you, then you've got all of this extra cash flow. Now you've got two choices then. You could either go and buy another property, re-leverage it, mortgage it up and buy another one so you've got more cash flow. This is the, 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 the ability that assets give you. How can we leverage our slow pounds? Because that's the real trick to it. Now you understand the thesis of it, but some people are much better at the leverage game than others. What does leverage mean? I mean, you know, for example, if I've got £100,000, I think I will invest it better than most people. Not everyone, because there's other people better than me. Because I know some stuff, because I've researched, I've read some books, I've watched some videos, I've been to some seminars. So you want to be leveraging your money at the best possible return on investment. And you want to do this of at least 20%. How do you work this out? Well, this is how you do it. You get your gross profit or your cash flow from a property or your income from a property or your profit. Whatever you decide side to follow. Some people follow gross profit, some people follow their cash flow and they have different ways. Whatever it is in your life, you want to consistently go with it. So I'm going to go with income. What's my profitable income that I get from a property? After my cost of sales. So I know maybe I'm going to do an event and my cash flow uh, is going to be a million pounds, but it's going to cost me half a million pounds to do it, my cost to sell. So I'm making half a million pounds worth of profitable income, and then I divide it by my capital deployed and my time. So give yourself an hourly rate and your team's hourly rate to make all that happen. You divide the two, your time's about 100, and that gets your return on investment. And you want to be aiming as an entrepreneur for at least 20% when it comes on to real estate and property, and higher on business, because business is much more risky than property in my opinion so you want to make sure you hire for the highest possible return of investment possible that gang that gang is my little walk through fast pounds and slow pounds it is one of the quickest ways that you can really grow the wealth in your business and comment below what do you think i'd love to get involved in the conversation in the comments and if you're new here don't forget make sure you subscribe clicked one of those little thumbs up so we can help you grow your business and get it out to the youtube world see you real soon bye bye Hope you enjoyed that video to help grow your business. It gets better because you can watch more of my videos by clicking here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking here. And for the grand finale, why don't you come and see me at one of my events, one of my seminars to help grow your business. You can find out all the details in the video description or go to jamesinclair.net.